Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hina with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm really excited to bring you guys the Launcher class project. I've done a video on this before, in fact, multiple times because it is such a cool competition. So if you guys know, in my robotics class, we have a curriculum that devoted, you know, is devoted to projects, um, different builds, um, different board uh, competitions like Cargo Connect, and then we definitely do a lot of competitions like Sumo Bot. And for today, it's going to be Launcher. So if you want to see this class competition, stay with me. You know, Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. So in this video, what I want to do is just go over the ground rules of what my students go through. And it's not that hard. And then just show you what the Launcher competition looks like. So let's start off with the basics. There really is no blueprint for the build. Um, you're basically trying to do robotics bowling. You're trying to knock over as many cups and get points as possible and to be able to have more points than the other team that you're competing against. So in this video, you'll see different um, examples of launchers, but there really isn't any kind of ground you know, rules for your launcher. Um, and you can use as many pieces as you want to make your launcher. So you can use more than what your EV3 kit has. So the only real blueprint for this project is your projectile. Whatever you are going to be launching needs to be able to fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Kind of like what we did for the sumo bot, but it was the actual robot. In this case here, whatever your robot's going to be launching has to be able to fit on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So this was born out of one year. Some team just made this gigantic thing and knocked over everything. And so then we had to figure out, okay, we better make some kind of rule that doesn't give somebody, you know, this big gigantic projectile to knock over everything. So I'll give you in this video, the different points that I put on the cups. Obviously you guys can feel free to choose whatever you want. I have each team go up against another team five times. I mean, four, five different teams five times. And it depends on if your class, if your class is like mine, where their teams are in different places, like some might be doing this project and some are different, I can have that team go up against the same team five times. But if you have five different teams, I would have them go up against each other, you know, separately. And so the other thing that I have a rule is, is that, you know, whenever they launch, they have to just make it in one launch. So if you're launching two projectiles, that's fine, as long as it's getting launched in the same launch. And the program's super easy. Um, some of my students use a touch sensor. So it's just going to be a weight block for a touch sensor. And that'll just activate their B and C motors if they're going to use B and C. Most of them do. And then they just have that thing launched for a certain amount of time. Uh, but your students can use rotations or degrees um, depending on you know, what your class already knows. So what we want to do now is go ahead and take a look at the video. Your rules can be different than mine. My table might be longer than yours, but the projectile has to go over a tissue box. Some of my students, they don't need one because theirs is already high enough. But to make it fair for everybody, there we put a tissue box in front of their launcher, has to go over it. They get three launches and then they get a total, total amount of points. And they just see how they did against the other team. The basic objective of the launcher is to launch a projectile. The rule on the projectile is it must fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And yes, you can turn it diagonally to you know, get more uh, length to it. It needs to go over either a shoe box or tissue just so that, you know, there has to be some type of upward mo uh, motion or movement for the launcher. Um, this is a regular, I think, six foot table. So their launcher has to actually be on the other table and then go the, the distance of the six feet. And let me go ahead and show you how I set up the cups. So, I have six cups. I have a four, one, three, two, two, and a D for double. If you um, knock over, let's say that, you know, you knock over these two cups plus the double, that would be four. And then the D means we'll double it to eight. My students always ask, what if we just hit over the double? And I say, well, let's just do the math. Two times zero is still zero. So, you know, you get nothing if you just knock over the double cup. 
So this is my setup. And then when I go ahead and show you the high scores from my class, these are the points we use. So if you want to try to beat our class's high score, then you would set your cups up like this. I will leave you guys in the description a copy of my launcher sheet that each team gets where they can track who they've gone up against and what was the score and they can track their wins and losses and that's pretty much it. So now let's go ahead and go to the video of what this looks like in my class. Okay guys, so it's a really fun project. My students get very creative in what they launch, what their launcher looks like, what their arm on their launcher looks like. They put all of these different attachments so whatever they're launching can fit right into there. It's a really eye-opening project because you get to talk about physics, you get to talk about speed, you get to talk about um, just the basics of physics where they can now start to learn, okay, my arm is you know, releasing it too late. Let me, you know, change the degrees or time. My launcher is not throwing it, um, you know, fast enough. Let me extend the arm to get more of a whipping action. So it's really neat to be able to see what the students are, you know, building as they created, you know, from their problem, what they're, you know, coming up with the solution for. It's a really neat project to be able to see that. So Hopefully you guys liked it. If you get, you know, give that a, a project a chance, let me know in the comments section what you might suggest we modify for this project, um, how yours went. So, okay, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.